Hey, I'm doing the Spritz Man on doing this another movie reviews. This time I'm reviewing Gridiron Game. Well, what Gridiron Game is about is Coach Sean Porter, and he's a uh, guard at a detention facility for uh, kids. It's a juvenile facility, and uh, when it starts off, there's this kid that is a part of the 88 crew, and what the 88 crew is is uh, there's the 88 crew and the 96, and they're living five blocks away from each other for some reason they've been having uh, a game war for a long long time and they, and they don't even know how it started and the uh, guy the kid who starts off in this movie I think his name is Cal I think it's either Cal either Calvin's the uh, cousin that plays football or Calvin's this guy right here I can't remember but anyway this guy jumps on an 88 or uh, 96 member Okay. No, Calvin's the nicest member that gets uh, gets attacked right here. My bad. And uh, what happens is this 88 member attacks him and it puts in a box. And this is the day before he's released. So Sean, Coach Sean Porter is talking to him and telling him that he needs to get out of this crew or he's going to wind up dead. Then he goes back out on the streets with his cousin Willie Weathers. And, uh, Two of the 88 members come and tell them they need their help with something, and when they're going to do this, 96 members come and do a drive-by on them and kills one of them and then kills the kid that just got out of juvie, and Willie Weathers gets away. And the head of the 88 tells Willie Weathers to go kill the guy who was driving the car's cousin at a convenience store, so he's going to do that, and he, gets, he chickens out and he runs away. But whenever he goes back home, his mom, mom's home, and he sees his mom's face, and she's been beat down by her boyfriend. And he told her, her boyfriend to get out, and he, what would happen if he ever touched his mom again, and he winds up shooting him. So this is how Willie Weathers gets taken to the uh, juvenile facility. And it, this whole time, uh, Sean Porter's trying to figure out a way to save these kids, and he gets the idea of, a football team from his mother and his mother got cancer so he uh, goes to the supervisors trying to get a football team started and they at first they didn't want to do it do nothing with it then they agreed to it and Sean had to go find a division for his team to play for and he gets on this uh, Christian school division and the first game is against the Panthers and what happens is uh, they, they have three weeks of practice to get ready for the first game and the team's still trying to get uh, connected with each other to become a team and they're still having odds with each other especially with the weathers and uh, Calvin the 96 crew member that got beat down in the first of the move because Willie's an 88 and Calvin's a 96 and they're butting heads and through the first that they go to the first game and they lose and they lose pretty bad to the Panthers and they go to their second game, they lose that game as well. Well, uh, Coach Porter is trying to figure out how to get the team to do what they're supposed to do, and he finally uh, gets to them, and they finally start acting like a team. And uh, the quarterback, I uh, can't remember his name, but the reason he's in there is because he used to be a crack dealer, and he, tell, and he talks to the quarterback and tells them to help a uh, one of his blockers with the plays since he's so good at math and so he's going to help him and the team he, Coach Porter does that through all the teammates uh, doing a one on one and trying to get them better as a team and that's what happens and they have their third game and they win it and uh, they win eight games straight well at the before the second to last game and the last game the head of the 88's come to uh, visit Willie and they're, they're not letting him in because he says he's his brother but Willie only has one brother and he's six years old. So the 88 members kicked out of there and he sees Calvin and Calvin's mopping and he sees Calvin's tattoo and uh, he threatens Calvin and then uh, he leaves and then the second to the last game the Mustangs are playing against this team and they win and at the end of the game the 88 head of the 88 comes on the field and shoots Calvin and Willie runs and tackles down his uh, 
gang member, his head gang member, and that guy runs away and gets shot by the police. Now that Willie's done done this, he's no longer a part of the set and he can't go back to his home or he'll be killed. So and now he's dealing with that. Then he quits the football team and uh, winds up getting a fight with one of the 88 members that just came in there that uh, we met in the first beginning of the movie. And he gets put in the box and then Coach Sean Porter comes and talks to him and tells him uh, that he needs to be back on the team and he don't want to have nothing to do it because he's conflicted because he helped his game leader get shot. And he, he said he's blaming on the football team and it's kind of because the football team is now all the team members are our family and they're close together and they protect each other. So after this, they are kicked out. They are forced to forfeit their playoff game because of this incident. And then Sean Porter and the heads of the potential detention facility goes to the division meeting and tell, ask them if they can promise that this guarantee that this will never happen again, that they still be in the playoffs and they are allowed to do that and they get volunteer uh, cops to come and to guard the football game and make sure nothing happens. And they wind up winning their first playoff game and it's against the Panthers and through the whole game they're starting to lose and they're getting beat like they did the first game. And Willie finally comes over his fear against this uh, linebacker on the 55 that he, he was scared to get hit of in the first game and he finally overcomes that and tackles him to get the winning touchdown. And then uh, they show a montage to set Coach, Coach Sean Porter, who is played by Dwayne DeRoz Johnson, is telling how they lost the, the championship game and tells what happens to the players of that team. And some of them died and some of them went to school and really the others. And uh, Calvin, they both went to high school and play, went on to play football. And... This was a real good movie. I like. I liked it. It's one of maybe one of my favorite movies. It shows how uh, undisciplined kids that's been in the juvenile facility how they get taught to be disciplined uh, kids and going and getting away from their gang life and stuff like that. And it's a real good movie. If y'all have ever watched it on gang, let me know what y'all thought about this movie. As always, it's put your man on me, so I'm not bad to you, you. See you next time.